Hey Soul City Kids, welcome to day one of Arts and Crafts. I want you to meet my friend, Hannah. Hi guys, I'm Hannah. I'm in eighth grade and I'm part of Soul City Middle School. So Hannah, I have a question. Do you like art? I love art. What? Okay, tell me why. The reason I love art so much is because it's such a nice way to get away from technology and it can be really calming sometimes. So good. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about you, what are we doing for day one of art? Today, we are going to be doing I die. What? I'm so excited. This is what everyone's doing this summer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So do we need anything from our camp box? Yes. You'll need a uh, package one for your box. These are the two things that come in it. And you'll also need your camp shirt. Ooh la la. Okay. And so this is in our box. Do we need anything from our house? Yes. You'll need about three things from home. You'll need a tarp because tie-dye can get a bit messy. So you might want to go outside or set up a uh, plastic wrap or a tarp around where you're sitting so you don't make a mess. And you'll also need water and a garbage bag. Perfect. Okay, Hannah, you clearly have this handle. Mm -hmm. Teach us how to tie that. All right. Step one, prep work. Campers, are your parents in the room? If they're not, please come get them because you'll need help with this project. All right, now that your parents are with you, first thing to do is cut off the tags of your camp shirt. Take that, um, and then next thing you're gonna do, put your shirt without the tags. You're gonna get this little bag, open it, campers, put your gloves on. So grab your bottle, take the top off carefully, make sure there's no powder at the top. Uh, set that down, and then you're gonna take this soda ash that's that comes in your bag. Cut the um, cut a little corner off, and then you're going to put the soda ash in your bottle very carefully, make sure none gets out. All right, now that your soda ash is in your bottle, you're going to put the cap back on and shake it just a little bit. Now that you have the dye and the soda ash in here mixed well, you're gonna add some warm water about halfway to three-fourths, yes, three-fourths uh, full. Now that you're getting your warm water for the bottle, you're gonna make sure you soak your shirt. Doesn't matter what the temperature is, just soak your shirt. Now that you've filled your bottle up with water, you're gonna shake it real good. All right, now the main event, getting your shirt ready. Going for it with my shirt is going to be a spiral. So the first thing you wanna do is find around the middle, mine's right, around right here, and you're just going to pinch it, make sure you got both sides of the shirt. And you're just gonna twist, and twist, and twist until your the whole shirt is together. Okay, now that your shirt is all bunched up, you get your rubber bands that are also in your bag, and you're gonna wanna take one, put it around your wrist about like halfway. You're gonna take your shirt, grab it, and get this rubber band and pull it around. Then you're gonna do this around the whole shirt, but on different angles. Now this is going to be the mess part. So make sure you have your plastic wrap, your tarp, or your outside where you can't really make a mess. And I am about to show you a pretty cool trick. The first thing you do is put your um, tied up shirt in your, plat in your uh, trash bag. And then once it's done and all painted, you're going to grab it like this so you don't really make that big of a mess. You're gonna take it like this, wrap it around, and make sure it's inside out. And so this is where it's going to rest. But ours isn't painted yet, so let's take it out. Now here's the best part. The first thing you wanna do is take off this cap because nothing's coming out of it yet. 
So don't take this whole top off, but take off the little cap that is blocking the dye. Might drip out a little, but that's why you have your tarp down. Oh, okay, you just unscrew it and so the dye, uh, dye comes out. Now, have fun. Put it all over, put it in different sections. What I'm going to do is put it in different sections. And once you have the first side done and you're uh, happy with the way it looks so far, you're going to flip it over to do the same thing. All right, now that mine is about done, you may see that there are different spots on it and you can dip your shirt in it so you don't really waste anything. And you will have dye left over and that's totally fine. Um, you might dump it out or you might use it for another project. Now we're gonna do the cool trick that I showed you earlier, where you wrap it around a little towards the middle, put the first side of the trash bag over, and then you're going to put the trash bag, flip it inside out, just wrap it around until it looks like about this. All right, now that your shirt is completely covered and secured, you're going to wait six hours. I know that seems like a long time, but you're going to wait six hours for this to soak up all the dye and become the perfect shirt. But we are not done yet. We have to make sure everything is cleaned up. So I put my shirt over there and I'm gonna make sure my dye is all closed so it doesn't drip out anymore and we don't have a bigger mess. I'm gonna put my dye over here and I'm gonna take off my gloves, make sure not to touch them. And then I'm gonna wrap my gloves in my saran wrap or whatever tarp you are using. Also, any other garbage that you have, make sure you throw it out. All right, that's day one of Arts and Crafts. Don't forget to take a picture and post on social.